Hey everybody, welcome to my quarantine basement shop. I'm gonna do a little tip uh, on YouTube here. Actually, we're gonna do two tips. First one is gonna be, I'm getting ready to take the bridge off of this good old guitar. And uh, I just thought I'd share this little uh, piece of uh, innov innovative uh, information, which is take your parts when you're working on a guitar, throw them in a bag, and label the bag. That way, in the future, your parts are easy to find. Okay, the next tip is going to be how to take off your regular shaped bridges. Uh, this comes up quite a bit. I've moved away from uh, using the, the heat blankets. I just I destroyed a bunch of heat blankets early on. They're expensive to replace. And I've recent or not recently, I've, I've gone back to using the, uh, the old heat lamp method. But one thing that can happen with the heat lamp is it can be pretty cumbersome to to make a uh, to make some way to guard the top against the uh, the heat lamp. So one of the things I do is I get these uh, I get these kind of hot plate lids. Uh, we we had a dollar store next to us in uh, uh, Teaneck where I work at Lark Street Music that had uh, just a tremendous assortment of uh, brick brack like this. And I found these were really great for uh, making really fast uh, uh, guards against the heat lamp. So basically what I do is I put it down over the guitar and then I press it into the press it into the shape of the bridge almost like you're doing an etching. Make sure that it's not moving around so that you get different registration points. And then it comes up with something about like so. And then I take my X-Acto knife and cut to the inside of that that etching line just a skosh. And then this gives me a really nice, pretty quick guard uh, for this Goodall bridge. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you for the next tip.